the Israelites had crossed over the river Jordan and were now in the promised land. The Canaanites who lived there were terrified. God told Joshua that all the men needed to have the special mark on their bodies that showed they were God's people. And then the people kept the Passover feast. When Joshua was by Jericho, he saw a man standing in front of him with a drawn sword. The man said he was the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua fell before him and worshipped, and he was told to take off his sandals, for he was standing on holy ground. Then the Lord told Joshua that for the next six days, all the men of war were to march round the walls of Jericho one time each day. Seven priests were to use ram's horns as trumpets while they went round, with the Ark of the Covenant coming behind them. And on the seventh day, the people were to march round the walls seven times, before giving a great shout. So for the next six days, Joshua rose early, and the men marched round the city, with the seven priests blowing their trumpets. Then, on the seventh day, they went round the walls seven times. When they had finished their seventh circuit, the priests gave a long blast on their trumpets, and Joshua said, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. So the people shouted, and the great wall of the city came crashing down, falling flat on the ground. The Israelites went up into the city and conquered it. The only people who were left alive were those in the house of Rahab. The two spies who had stayed with her went and brought her out, and Rahab began to live among God's people. Joshua said that no one should ever rebuild Jericho. A curse would fall on anyone who did. The city had been given into Joshua's hands, showing that the Lord was with him. And Joshua's fame spread throughout the whole land. We learn from this that the Lord is the commander of his people. He is the one who leads them and gives them victory. And we learn that nothing is too strong for the Lord to bring down. By his power, the mighty walls of Jericho fell flat. And we learn that the Lord changes lives. Rahab was saved, just as had been promised, and she began to live as one of God's people. She even became the ancestor of the Lord Jesus Christ. And through Jesus, our lives can be wonderfully changed as well.